What's up everyone and welcome to the 2022 Qatar World Cup Final played in Inazuma 11. As you can see, I am playing as France Rose Griffin with Herbert Favreau, Pr Pr I have no idea, um, Roland, um, Julian Rosso, Stan Hinault, Huesmans, Godden, Puju, Aaron, Pinot, and Piat, and then the bench full of people who are going to watch. And we're going to be taking on the Empire, aka Argentina. As you can see, the team is around level 90-ish. I wanted to give us a bit of leeway. Um, Empire level 99. This is the Inazuma 11 Great Road of Heroes mod. So Empire at 99. And I'm a bit wary about going in there the same level because I don't, I, you know, the AI can be a bit unpredictable. So I wanted to give the AI a tinty bit of leeway. So here we are, around level 90 stuff. And, is, and you can see the moves here. I'm assuming they're going to be like our Killian Mbappe. Try Pegasus. I just imagine Kylian Mbappe having something like that. But all right, I'm excited. I'm really excited to give this a go. This is going to be my, no matter what, this is my official prediction for the score of the FIFA World Cup. It, this, is, this is what has to be. The final will end with whatever the score of this is. Empire, here we go. So they obviously have Ortega, Thiago, Acosta, Diaz, Martinez, Perez, Castillo, Roberto, Carlos, Oro, and Badig. I swear, some of these names are actual names of players in the FIFA um, World Cup final for Argentina. Don't know why I keep saying FIFA World Cup. Is it the FIFA World Cup? I feel like it is. I don't remember. As you can see, they're all level 99. They've got Thunderbird. Oh, God. Okay, this can only go well. I, I believe in us. I really do believe in us. Come on, France. I'm actually... I I'm rooting for Argentina probably in real life. I, I just quite like Messi. And I'd quite like to see him win a World Cup. So far, because uh, I guess I can use this video as an opportunity to also talk a bit about the actual World Cup itself. Because I haven't done anything about it otherwise. I have enjoyed the World Cup. I, I think it's been fun. Uh, I haven't seen too much. So I've seen a lot of the knockout round, to be fair. I didn't see too much of the group stages. Don't know what the hell that was. Um, obviously, I'm sad England didn't get further. But I thought we played all right in the matches we did. Except for USA. Played atrociously in that. Um, but aside from that, it's been a fun World Cup. It's been There's been some cool upsets. Seeing Japan do really well was really, really fun. Um, same with... That, like the upsets with South Korea, the whole Morocco thing. Okay, Hinault, this is your moment. Echo Ball. Dang. <laughs> Not cool. It is Thiago. Can't get too annoyed. Favreau takes it. Over to this guy. He is going to bring it over. Beautiful play. Never mind. He may have got intercepted. And it may not be as beautiful a play. But here is Rosso, the French captain. Nice. There's the photon crash. Beautiful. Okay, come on. Over to... You are offside. That is annoying. Wish I saw that slightly earlier. Let's go for a cyclone from Favreau. We'll take it. We'll bring it up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Over. Beautiful. Argentina haven't really had a chance to leave their half. Here comes Herbert with a double jaw. Is it going to go in? Versus the million hands V2. It does. And France take the lead early on in the match. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful of France. France has taken the lead. Let's keep going. Are Argentina going to be able to combat? Favreau with the Cyclone. It's not looking likely. Favreau with the Dog Run. Not looking likely. I think France are on to a big one here. The re um, Inazuma 11 Oliver Giroud over here. Olivia Giroud? I think it's Olivia. Really shouldn't know my pronunciations. Let's go for a classic French move. The Eiffel Tower. Come on. Let's get this in. Versus Million Hand. It's only Million Hand. I thought it was Million Hands. Okay, and they stopped the Eiffel Tower. Well, that's irritating of you. What have you done that for? Okay, come on, Rosso. Nice. Love that from Argentina. Come on, lad. Zigzag flame them. Hell yes. I'm pretty sure that is an Argentina move. So we're using their own moves right back at them. Over to... Nope. Not ideal. Containment zone. Nice. Nice. Let's apply that defensive pressure. Come on up. Come on up. And over to Favreau, who has no moves. Beautiful. Fantastic ball. Are Argentina just going to be able to outlast the French? I guess that might be the question. Though, Favreau is coming. I'm pretty sure this is just going to be a 1v... Actually... He makes use. 
of Hervord. And Hervord has, I'm pretty sure, a clean net here because unless Ortega can pull out a mad catch, it is going to be 2-0 to France. Beautiful plays and Hervord has his brace. Will he be able to get a hat-trick? They've swapped goalkeepers. We do not have any substitutes, which may be France's downfall here. And actually, here come... Okay, hello. Here's a Hellfire from Oro, which is looking a bit scary. Here comes the Stinger. We do stop it. France does get the beautiful block off there against um, Oro's Hellfire. But hopefully this can go well. We are obviously got Favreau, who is essentially a dead man running. Here comes Oro with the big fan. They foul. That's fine. Don't mind. Bring it over here. Bring it over here. Got him. Flame dance. Beautiful versus Carlos. Carlos, that's a beautiful design. I love that design so much. I feel like I've never seen that character before. But I really like his design. Back over to Hervord. It's Hervord. Gonna get the hat trick. It may be difficult. Here's the header. He doesn't get the hat trick. The power shield obviously is going to stop it. But the ball drops to Rosso. Oh, it's gonna be embarrassing for Argentina. This will be embarrassing if they score this. The try Pegasus. This will be a really bad moment. Full power shield. They do stop it and prevent a re. Diaz has just made potentially the worst play of all time. They do stop the second try, Pegasus, though. Are they actually going to be able to play out of the back this time? It's not looking very likely at all. Flame dance. Nice. Perfect. Love that for us. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Right. Let's go. All right, bring it over. Oh, back over to Hervord. He doesn't have anything. So we're going to bring it out to the wing. We're going to go for a triple boost. I can see this going in easily from, I'm assuming that's Sparek. It does. <laughs> Sparek with the third goal for France. And it's looking more and more like this is France's World Cup. And that they are going to continue their reign over the trophy. But here comes Pujol to stop an Argentina attack with Iron Wall. Argentina do not get a chance. He's going to do it again, just to flex. Just an absolute flex right there from Pujol. The, the in Azuma 11, I don't know, like Varane probably. Bring it over. Over to you. Over to Yabdi. Okay, never mind. They did get the interception there. Fair enough. Here we go. Rosso is going to attempt. Never mind. Hervor's going to get there first and get absolutely outpaced by Roberto. Outtacked by the Inazuma 11 Messi. Here's Castillo. Stopped in his tracks. Come on. Okay. Okay, bring it over. Hervord. If Hervord can score this volley, this bicycle kick. Never mind. That would have been beautiful. Get his hat trick. Oh, I want him to get a hat trick so bad. That would have been glorious. It would have been absolutely glorious. Samuel moves right past us. Here comes Godin. Got him. Got him. Never mind. Here we go. And it's full time just before Badigo could take a shot. And France are victorious. Boom. Okay, so that is my official prediction for the World Cup final. 3-0 France. It, it can't be anything but that. It has to be that. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.